Hey guys, Chip Gilligan here, and I appreciate y'all stopping by. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do something that I have never done before. I'm gonna make a West Indies salad. You know, when I started thinking about what I wanted to do for my first catch and cook, I wanted to do something with a local flavor. This particular salad was created by Bill Bailey in Mobile, Alabama in 1947. I probably won't do his recipe justice, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. His calls for crab meat, but we're gonna use fish. So all I've got to do tomorrow is go out and catch a couple of fish, and then we're gonna to try to make a West Indies salad. All we need is Gilligan. Gilligan, where's Gilligan? Well, you don't have to look for Gilligan. All you have to do is listen for Gilligan. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm in Orange Beach, Alabama. I got some live shrimp, and I'm fishing on the bottom for sheephead. They're all up underneath these piers. True. So it shouldn't take me long, and we'll be back in the kitchen. There he is. There. Let's keep him. All right, that's fish number one. Feels like a good one, too. That feels like a good fish. Oh, my goodness. Nice fish down here. Where is he? Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. There he is. All right, this is the first fish that we have. Come on. Man, these fish can fight. These fish can fight. Oh. Come on. Water in the tank. Here we go. pretty sheep head. This one's gonna work perfect. Now all we've got to do is catch one more and then we're gonna head back to the kitchen. Nice pretty fish. Put up a great fight. There he is. I got him. I got him. Feels like a good one. Feels like a good fish. All right come on now. Come on. Oh yeah. After we get this one, we are heading to the kitchen. Ooh. But he don't want to go to the kitchen. Alex, we got a good one here. Alright y'all, that's number two. Let's go make a West Indies salad. Fish too. Pretty fish. Okay guys, I'm back. Had a great day on the water. These are my sheep head, my two sheep head. Got four fillets. And all I've got going is a pot of water that's getting hot. And the only ingredients you need is Wesson oil, apple cider vinegar, one sweet onion, and some salt. So now let's start cooking. You know they say a watch pot doesn't boil. Well, I've been watching this for a couple of minutes and it's not boiling yet. So in the meantime, we're gonna chop up some onions real fine. And this recipe calls for one onion. And I've got this handy dandy little chopper because you know what onions do when you chop them up. Okay, our water's finally boiling. And before we put the fish in, we're gonna add a very small amount of salt. Go ahead and do that right now. And now without allowing the water to splash up on me, I'm going to put my fillets in. And this shouldn't take but maybe a couple few minutes and then the meat's gonna be flaky and you'll better tell that it's ready. So there's fillet number one, fillet number two, fillet number three, fillet number four, and this small piece because I messed up when I was filleting them. All right, our fish is ready. This takes about three to four minutes. I'm gonna let you judge how long you wanna let them boil, but you just wanna wait until they get really flaky. So it's almost just like a crab meat. And this looks just right. Hey, let's get on back to this fish. So what I've been doing is I've been letting this cool off 
And now that it has, I'm gonna break this up just with my fingers because this is a crab meat substitute. So we want it to look like crab meat that's been broken up. Just like that. All right, our next step is I'm going to take my diced onions and I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the bowl. And spread it out a little bit. Yeah, the next thing that I'm gonna do in this recipe is I've got my half of my onion in the bottom of this bowl, so I'm gonna put the rest of my fish on top of that onion. And you know, this can be crappie, it can be bass, it can be catfish, whatever fish you wanna use, you can use it right here and make your own West Indies salad. All right, it's time to add our onions. So we have onions on the bottom, we have meat in the middle, and we're gonna add some more onions right on top, just like that. Okay, guys, this is where it gets fun. We're gonna add some Wesson oil. You know, it's not good for you, but it tastes great. We're gonna add four ounces of Wesson oil, and we're gonna take us a bottle of ice water. We're gonna put it in the freezer and get it as cold as we can possibly get it. And we're gonna add four ounces of ice water to our measuring cup. And then we're gonna add three ounces of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna mix them all together, and then we're gonna pour it on top of our onions and our fish. All right, here we go. We are almost done. Perfect. Mmm, guys, this is smelling great. The last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, I'm gonna cover it up, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. This has been sitting overnight. Oh, yeah. Gotta give this a try. All right, let's start this up, see how we're doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. I haven't stirred this at all. So I'm just gonna stir it around real gentle. Man, those onions smell fantastic. And I'm really not a big fan of onions. You know, if I go get a hamburger, the first thing I say is hold the onions. But because this has been fermenting all night, mm, it smells great. All right, so let's try just a little bit. Onions, get some meat. Mmm, <laughs> that's awesome. A culinary masterpiece. That is absolutely awesome. Guys, this is really, really good. Hey, y'all, I encourage you to give this a try. This is fantastic. And you know, you don't have to have crab meat. You don't have to have sheephead. You can use a bass, you can use a catfish, you can use a crappie, any fish that's got white flaky meat. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description below for this recipe. So I hope you'll give it a try.